Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Limbo with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a segment we've already completed. Now, looking back at the footage for the last video, please remember I am recording all of these in one giant batch so that I don't get any spoilers, and I can start uploading the videos once I've finished with the game completely. It turns out I may have recorded a fair chunk of the last episode with some really weird settings because my computer decided to go back to defaults. Not quite sure why it did that, but the end may have completely glitched out, so we're starting a little bit further back than the ending of the last episode just to make sure everything has been covered. Or at least that's the general idea. So let's wait for the hotel to zap again and let's go and hope it turns off in time. Yes it does. That breaks that. It's so much easier when you actually know what you're doing. And I gently slide to safety. Everyone is happy in the world that Lathrix didn't die. Because I'm sure none of you are currently watching hoping for my death. Ta-da! No more power for you. I've always found hotel signs far more... just far safer when the power's turned off. Even if they are a little bit less illuminating. Because, you know, I generally have the trouble of hotel signs trying to kill me. I lead a very odd life. Now, if I recall correctly, the L or the arrow falls down at this point. I can't remember which. It's the arrow. It's the arrow. Okay, there we are. We made it. We're all lovely and alive. Now, this next part, again, I'm not sure if I covered it in the last video, kind of highlights the one issue I am having with this game. And I love this game so far, so please don't get me wrong with that. The controls are inconsistent, and I really do think a controller would work so much better than a keyboard. And at the moment, my controller's broke, so I can't really use my controller, and I really wish I could. But it's all to do with how this thing jumps. Trying to jump off this the correct way took me forever in that last clip. And all you have to do is this. But like, now I've got it down, it's a little bit easier, but it's not how you would expect, and it's really hard to explain unless you're the one playing, but the physics don't work the way you'd think they would work, if that makes any sense. And there we are. Okay, so this is where we got last time. I looked to the right, we see the brain parasite. I haven't yet looked to the left, so maybe there's an easter egg. That's my assumption. If you go the opposite way to the way you're meant to go, generally easter eggs are what you get. Uh, can I climb this? No, because that's in the foreground. Can I climb this? Ooh, can I climb this as it falls? I can break it. I can definitely break it. Not quite climb it, though. It's kind of awesome that this is the arrow we just broke. Also, this is a really nice picture. Limbo definitely has some really nice imagery. As much as it is just, just black and white, most things are completely 2D. There's a little bit here and there in the background or the foreground. It's got this style to it that works really well. So what was the point in that then, if anything? I'm assuming just to show us where the arrow was. Oh. I expected us to go to the right. Okay, that's different. Why are we going to the left for? Brian Parasite, you're not being consistent with me. What are we meant to be doing here? Did I do the right thing by accident? No, 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 because we could have just broke it down anyway with the brain parasite in our head, so I assume I just wasted everyone's time. That's more likely than anything, I probably just wasted everyone's time, and time is a precious commodity, but right now you are watching someone play Limbo, so you know you probably don't have things better to do, especially if you're watching me play Limbo, more importantly. And it looks like we're back in the industrial thing again, it's all buildings and complexes and machinery. Speaking of which, is that like a crusher? Ooh, I don't like that. Why is there a crusher? I'm going as slow as I can to see what's going to kill me. Nothing, okay. Ooh! I was just spamming control to see if that would work, but yes, we can activate the elevator. I will, I will remember that for later, and I'm sure it will help us. Sorry if I go a bit quiet right now. Jumping puzzles are not my forte, as you've probably seen, especially with this keyboard. Button. Will that button activate if you walk over it, and is the button a bad thing? No, because I'm assuming it's going to give us that crate. Crates are never a bad thing. 
Oh, or it might activate that buzzsaw. Is that what we were meant to do? Yes, it was. Hello, my lovely friends. Eat the brain parasite. I just got incredibly lucky. I am so happy with that. That made, you know, that made up for all the deaths in that last video. Do I go down here? Uh, here's the thing. I am yet to be rewarded once for making a leap of faith in, in this game. This game doesn't seem to reward you for going to areas where you can't see, ever. So I'm going to say no, then how do I get past the giant saw of death? Can I jump over that really from here? Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the risk because it, uh, cause I really feel like this is safer than jumping down that pit of death. Nope! Okay, we died. First death. Probably of many. So close. It doesn't quite hit the wall. And I keep thinking it will, like... I, I keep feeling like the main body was going to hit the wall, not the spikes around the edge of it. Alley up. So we're just going back. Oh, we're going to go back to the elevator, aren't we? How on earth am I meant to make that jump? Like this, dum dum. That was easy. Ooh, same idea as the last one, but it's going side to side rather than up and down on a hinge. Is that a grab a bob? That is a grab a bob. Alley up. I liked those puzzles. They were nice because you figured out what to do very easily. It's a matter of you saw what you're meant to be doing and then you do it. Ha, <laughs> you saw. It's funny because there's a saw to kill me. So how does this work then? Can I make, make it go down? Okay. I'll just stay in the same area. So I just jump on that then. Well, that was easier than expected. However, I did see a crate earlier. Now I'm going to use foresight here and put the crate on the elevator with me. Come, my friendly lift. Lift me. Lift me. There we are. Crates are always good in this game. I, I am yet to find an evil crate. Uh, the. <laughs> Right. You betrayed me! You betrayed my trust! Push, not pull. There we go. The crate is now our friend once more. It has been redeemed. There's always spikes on the floor. Oh. Oh, is that the whole use of the crate? No, surely not, because I can definitely make that jump without the crate. So that's clearly wrong. Uh oh, nope. So we need to figure out a way to do this. I'm going to carry on forwards then. Perhaps there's something to help out. We need something with some weight. There's a thing. This is a thing. What does this thing do? Uh, what did that do? Oh, hello! I need a crate for that, don't I? Okay, so clearly the trick to this is over here somehow. Wee. Is there anything else we can grab from down here? There are some planks and stuff here, but normally you can't interact with these. No, so where do I go then to get something to help this thing up? I think I've just got it. So I'll be honest, I just went all the way to the left, back to the original area where the brain parasite was, and then on the way there I realised something. Why don't we just use the elevator itself? It's on a swing mechanism. So what we need to do is get that elevator moving down, the lift moving down, then do this! 
Maybe. Yes, I was. I was perfectly correct. That's cool. That's a weird way to use that piece of environment. I'm very happy with that puzzle. Five out of five for that puzzle, developers. Okay, well, well, this one's a bit obvious. You, activate. And I have to be really quick and grab onto that. Swing like your life depends on it. It probably does. Oh, wow, we, you do not get much time. Okay, sorry, never mind. I thought that was going to go even higher and then lead to our death if we jumped. Obviously not. Ooh, we have crates. Why wouldn't we want them, though? Ooh, that sword's gonna go out to kill us, isn't it? Where's where's the next? Where's the lightest save point? Okay. Oh, look at that! A bit of a spoiler that's going to try and kill you. Um, <laughs> what would be the best way of doing this then? We need like, would one crate even get me high enough? Okay, so that only activates the saw. By the looks. Of No, it activates the saw and the first crate. The crate, I honestly didn't th think that killed me, but it did. How about you? How about you? Okay, so they both activate different crates. Yeah, can you stack these on each other? We're doing, we're doing a, bit, a bit of a test run over here, first of all. Doesn't seem like it. That's just gonna kill me, isn't it? Yep. Death! <laughs> A little bit falling to the bottom. So, what use do we have there? Okay, so... There's something there just above me. Is that any use? We've got the saw here. Um... Oh, I have no idea how you meant to do this. Okay, that's only that one activating. Oh, I know how to do it. You make sure one falls onto the other. But it has to be... No, yeah, it has to be the other one. It has to be the other way around, because then it, it's close enough to the... Boop. One, two, three. It's close enough to here that, that, that I can probably make the jump. Is the logic. Also, I did not give myself enough time there. Maybe that's enough time. Don't think it is actually. Oh, maybe. There we go. And there we are. Perfect. See, I, I can figure out puzzles sometimes. Oh, oh, that smoke. I literally thought that was ghosts or something in the background. Oh, what was that? Did you guys see that on the right hand side? Screw it, I'm going into the creepy area. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. I think I'm sliding. No, I'm not. Oh. Oh, I, I can hear the bug. Hey, Easter egg! Alone in the dark was the achievement. Are these candles? Could we do anything with the candles? No, but I can hear that bug again. Oh, there we are. We got one of the achievements. We found one of the Easter eggs. That's excellent. I'll just keep on bouncing around, so the eyes will pro will provide entertainment. And the cost of my speech. I wonder when that bug's gonna come back. Oh, it's so obviously gonna fall. I would not trust this ladder. Whee! Hello, bug. Will you be my friend? Be my friend. Hello. Mmm, nice corpse you've got there. Hello. 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 No. Can't do anything with the corpse. Hmm. Okay, so, so, so if I get too close, it runs away. How about if I'm a bit slower? 
I know this probably isn't it, but it just feels like it could be. Oh, okay, so it looks up, and you can wait for it to look back down. Maybe it can only see movement? Well, definitely closer this time. I probably could I probably could have jumped on it then. Okay, let's try that again. If that doesn't work, then I'll try and figure out a different thing. It's just that there's nothing here. Surprise! No! Oh, I almost grabbed it. Also, I did move my arms, which, ind which, which indicates it's an activatable thing. Got ya. So okay, buddy, just get me to this level. Okay, now I'll let go. Actually, no, I can't. I can't control myself at all right now. Oh no! Oh, poor little bug. I'm sorry. We are doing so many evil things to the animals of Limbo. Goodbye, spirit bug. I'll miss you. Spirit bug was my only friend in this place. Well, that looks like a very scary thing up top. I'm hoping that's not a jumping puzzle, but it probably is. We have st Ooh. I was going to say, that looks like a button. So we need to get a crate or something on here, then. Yeah, not making that in the first try. What's over here, first of all? Ooh. Mega cog. It's like all the other cogs, but it's mega. I heard birds. That's really weird for Limbo. Hmm. Can we move this one? No, we can't. Is this high enough to at least jump on the ladder, I'm hoping? Okay. Got one thing done at least. That, I would say, is a thing! I love things. Go! Ooh, what are you? We're going to need that, aren't we? Yes, we are. You can tell we need it because it's being destroyed. It's going to keep on rolling, isn't it? Of course it is! Monk, monk. No! I forgot this one doesn't go all that way. Okay. Let's get this set up in the correct place straight away. And you go there. I think being on this side would make this a little bit easier. That's it. Come with me, weird wheel cog thing. There we go. And back down to rendezvous with our new wheel. The bug is no longer our only friend. We now have the wheel! Which is far less exciting than you might think it is. Hello, wheel. Why did it have to be something that rolls the... Oh, I know what I need to do here. I don't even need to and fail at this to, to, to figure out what it is. We need to let the wheel roll down so that when I get all that way, it's opening when I'm over there, not when I'm, you know, here-ish. Oh, darn it. Okay, so I had to fail at it at least once. Why did I leave the crate so- wow, they actually did it twice as well. Why did I leave the crate so far away? That was the big problem there. It wasn't my, my execution at the end, it was the fact I had left the crate, like, really far away from the obvious section I'm, I'm about to rescue it from. So this time... Okay, we have to pull it a little bit first. Put it as close as possible to the opening door. Like there. So, so, so as soon as I grab it, 
I'm, I'm essentially blocking the opening slidey door of death. Let's try that again, shall we? Did not mean to jump over that. Either of those times. No! No! Don't do that! I dislike the controls in this game immensely, if you hadn't guessed by now. Ha ha! And again, I would recommend anyone who plays this game, please play it with a game controller, not a keyboard. The keyboard controls are not good in this game at all. They work with Limbo, sorry, with Inside, even though with that I would say a controller would be, would be better. But for Limbo, it's a nightmare. At least for me. But again, I'm, I'm not used to using my right hand for key controls for movement and my left hand for everything else. I, I'm used to WASD and then... Yeah, you get the gist. Mouse controls. On! Oh, I need to do this, don't I? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Why do I need this crate? Just for that? I mean, I can do it just for that, but I don't think it's going to be the correct path. So what's down here, then, other than probably death? Ah, uh, I'm going to need the crate, aren't I? So, no, yes? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll need the crate. Well, the thing is, it's now showing me that going down using the cog is perfectly safe, so why wouldn't I bring the crate with me? Like this. Thanks, crate. You're real pal. have a button, and what does the button do exactly? Um, push. Ooh. Ah, okay. Nice and simple for my simple brain. We put crate on button, we jump on this. And then we have another button in a second. Oh, my simple brain doesn't like this anymore. It was so much nicer the other way around. So how is this going to work then? We need to get it all the way up there, but we need to be on it as well. So we need a second white, I suppose? Hmm. I think I know how we're going to get that second white. This is if the physics work the way I think they work. Can we push this crate, the one we just used to activate the cog, onto the spokes? Bye, Crate. I loved you. Yeah, that's how it works. Perfect. Oh, no, no. Not this again. Did, did you learn nothing from like two seconds ago being almost crushed by the Crate Latherix? I mean, evidently not. It is a bit of a rhetorical question at this stage. Please don't need another one. Okay, we have a button. Press. Ooh, that's scary. And that's electric. Can I bring it back? Okay. Three, two, one. Press and run! That's not going to work. That jump would not have made that. Hmm. Well, may as well try. If I die, I die. If I don't, I don't. Whee! Electric! <laughs> that one little zap on his head was very morbid. So how is this meant to work then exactly?
I mean, I can jump on it now, but that's not particularly all that much use. Yeah, something tells me this isn't going to... Uh, you know, I've got to do it. I've got to do it to keep up our kill quota for the episodes. One more, and... Death! Yeah, we're dead. Hmm. Oh, I see. When it comes back, the chain swings towards me, doesn't it? Like now. So if I do it the right... No, it doesn't actually. It stops... Because I can't press it until it's completely resting. I've got a bit of a weird idea, because honestly there's not really much for us to work with. I think I may have been somewhat correct when I was talking about the swinging of the chain, but... Well, what about if we're the ones who make it swing? So we do this, that gets us all the way back while it's still swinging, we activate it as soon as possible, and then we run and try and grab it like then. I didn't do it just then, because honestly I wanted to actually see if it would work, rather than die one more time, but I think that could possibly be the answer, because look how long it swings for. It definitely gives us a little bit of extra reach. Of course, it still means we have to be synchronised in jumping whilst it's swinging back, which I think we've proven time and time again I am not very good at right now, but even so. As far as we can, which is going to be like this, and jump. Okay, won't catch on that one, so I want to catch on it way back now. Yes! It actually worked! Oh, I'm so happy with that. And just make sure we get over the evil zappy thing. Okay. Just jump down, I suppose. You see, this looks rather deathly as well. But this looks like it'll break. Or not. I can apparently activate this. Ooh, we're about to turn this on. There it goes. We're tilting the factory. The factory is tilting. Why is the factory tilting? Why is this a... No, we're falling. Are we just falling? Like, free-falling through the factory? Or are we, like, on a pendulum? I don't... know. Can I break this? I'm trying to. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, it fell, but I thought I had to be the one who caused it, but no. It just fell because it would fall anyway and then kill me. Let's try that again, this time with less death. Things like to punish you in this game, it feels like. Trial and error to the extreme, particularly for people like me who have no situational awareness. I'll be over here if you need me, ominous thing, which is... See, here's the thing, I even knew it was going to fall. I was just assuming I was going to be have to be the instigator of the fall. Obviously not. Fall, please. Thank you. I'll take one ride, thank you very much. I'm guessing we jump to the left now. Ooh, button. Um... And so we stop. Okay, well, I think that's a very good time to stop here. I've run out of time for today's episode, but if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Limbo is a series you wish to see continued in the future. We're getting pretty close to the end now, and I'll, I will say, I haven't really seen much story yet, but I'm really looking forward to how the end actually happens, because... We're still after our sister, apparently. We're in limbo. I want more story. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.